This example we're looking at template literals, so those are the ones that are using the backticks. So these are not the single quotes, as they're different. They're also not the double quotes, but they allow you to create strings using JavaScript, and we're able to use the template literals in order to do computations. We're able to bring in the string values, concatenate different variables together, and a whole lot of stuff. Also span multiple lines, as we've got in this example, and we're going to be covering all of this and more in this lesson on template literals. Template literals are string literals that allow you to embed expressions inside them. So let's create an example. So using name and with the name value, we're going to use the typical brackets in order to create the string value. So that's our name. And now within a message, if we want to bring that string value into a message, we can use the template literal. So these are the, using the back ticks, and these are to just to the left of most keyboards where we've got the one key. And we can say hi, and then we want to say hi to that person's name. So the name value variable can change, or it's not const, but if we want to make some updates to it, we can change it to let and then update the name. And then we can update the output that's being presented in the message. And then we're going to console log the message value and we'll see what, what kind of results we get. So when we save it, we get the string being brought in to the variable, the string value of message, and this is where we're getting the output. So they're used for string concatenation and embedding of expressions, and they're defined by the backticks. So instead of the quotes, so instead of either the single quotes or the double quotes, you're using the backticks. And the expression inside the template literals can be evaluated, and the result is concatenated into the final string. So let's do another one where we're going to have a value for a variable called add. And once again, using the backticks, and we'll just do a quick math value volume here, and then using the template literal, so the dollar sign and the curly brackets, we're going to add the value of 4 plus 5, and then using the console. Let's output the result for add 1. So we get 4 plus 5 within the string, and then it, it does evaluate. So within the template literal, you can get the string value by using the variable name, or you can even evaluate the expression that's being added into the string, and the string result will be whatever the final result is. Let's do a few more examples where we're going to set up another couple of variables. So we'll call it name 1, and I'll just call it Lawrence. And then we're going to have another variable and call this one age. So give it an age value. And this can actually be a numeric value. So you can add in any type of variables into your string. So whether they're strings or they're going to be numbers, we can add those all into the template literal. So let's actually create a value for output. And once again, using the back ticks, we're going to use the template literals. And then whatever string you want to add, and then this is going to be bringing in that variable name one with the value of my name. And then we want to bring in the value of age. So just assign the variable there. So let's see what the output looks like. And we'll console log the output into the browser terminal. So there we've got the output for the newly created string. In the example, the template literals are used to create a string that contains values of the name and the age variables. And the expression name and age are evaluated, and their values are then returned back and inserted to the string that's being assigned to the variable of output. Another advantage of template literals is they can actually span multiple lines. So we'll do another one where we're going to have a message that we're outputting. And then this is going to be the template literal. And let's span it across multiple lines. So maybe we've got a message like this. And then we can also include the values there for name one. So we could do that as well. And the output here is actually going to span multiple lines. So when we output within the console the value of mess, we see that this output gets spanned across multiple lines. I'm going to select the element class of output. And I'll assign a value of the mess to it. So using the document and then query selector, selecting the element with a class of output, and update the text content. 
to be equal to what we've got within the template literal of mess. And you'll notice that here, because this is going to be outputting it in the HTML, you would have to structure it with the HTML in order to output it. So even if you're using the multiple lines, you're going to see that multiple lines within the terminal, but you won't see the multiple lines being output into the web DOM browser because this is requiring HTML. So it doesn't actually matter that the source code has multiple lines. It's not going to add them in automatically. They're also, template literals are also very useful when you're working with complex expressions and making computations. So let's create a few more variables. We'll have a value of five and then we'll have a value of 10. And let's say that we want to create an output and we can just go directly. So we don't actually have to assign it to a variable. We can use it directly within the console log where we're using the template literal result of and then bring in the value of A plus the value of B is, and then here we can do the evaluation where we're adding A plus B. So let's see what that looks like. So we've got the result of five plus 10 is 15. And this is provides us more flexibility and makes it more dynamic even as we can update these outputs. So if we were to update the value to 12, then we'd have 5 plus 12 is 17 being output in template literal. So it does look a lot cleaner than if we're using the quotes. And it allows us to do evaluations that we would do within the regular code, but we're able to do it directly within as we're constructing the string output. So they provide a more readable and convenient way to create strings in JavaScript. They can be used to concatenate variables, as we've seen, and perform computations. And Overall, it's making your code more readable and maintainable.